If you are watching this video, then you would definitely be a fan of the legend Naoki Urasawa, just like me, man who is behind so many great works like Monster, 20th Century Boys, Billy Bat, and of course Pluto. Although only Monster and Pluto were lucky enough to get anime adaptations, and of course we all will thanks to Netflix for adapting this. Anyways, coming to the video topic, as you have watched Pluto, then definitely it is not easy to understand everything in one go. You would definitely have many questions like who exactly is Pluto and Bora? What's the significance of Gigi's memories? What's 39 Central Asia War? Who's that ugly looking teddy bear? But then don't worry, after watching this video, you will understand everything about Pluto. So let's begin. So first of all, let us understand the 39th Asian conflict. It is a war that is talked a lot about in the Pluto anime. The war started because of a man named Darius 14 and seven robots were involved in the war. These robots were Mont Blanc, North MK2, Gedisto, Brando, Hercules, Fotar, and Atom. The United States of Thracia sent the Bora fact-finding mission, which includes Dr. Oshano Mizu and Dr. Hoffman, as a bid to see if these rumors were true. The scientists are ultimately unable to verify the existence of any concerning robotic weaponry. Through Dr. Ojano Mizu does note that in the basement of a temple, the bodies of several robot corpses were identified. Following submission of this report, Thracia decides that Persia remains a significant threat regardless and initiates an armed assault. Persia launches their robotic weaponry in defense, but with the combined might of six out of the seven robotic superpowers, Persia is ultimately defeated. It is shown on several occasions that many of the combats harbor internal doubts regarding the purpose of this conflict with Mont Blanc, Brando, Hercules, an unnamed partnering soldier of Hercules and Gegisto, questioning the purpose of this conflict. And as it is a war, then of course many innocents have also suffered from this. One of them was Professor Abula, who lost his family in this war, so after met the war, he hired Dr. Tenma to make such an intelligent robot who could be anything at any time. But due to having so many personalities, 9 million to be exact, that robot always remained in coma. And then after some time, Abula lost his life in an air strike, but before dying he stored his last memories in a chip and requested Dr. Tenma to insert this chip into that robot. And this was also his dying wish and Dr. Tenma exactly did that which awakened the robot as Dr. Abula. But he had two different personalities. One was of course Professor Abula, the other one was Goji. While Abula's focus was on Pluto, Goji's focus was on Bora and to kill the team behind Bora fact-finding mission and he almost managed to kill everyone but couldn't finish the last one, Professor Ochano Mizu. And Dr. Tenma after this again created a robot, Atom, which he made in grief of his lost son, Tobio, but he was not satisfied by it. Then he also resurrected Atom from dead by inserting strong emotions which were the last moments of the other seven advanced robots which triggered insane amount of hatred in Atom but through the last memories of Gejishto, he realized that hatred always brings more hatred and, and calmed himself and also forgave Pluto in the end. After the war, Gejishto became a detective and upon becoming a detective, he was constantly haunted by some lost memories of himself. Initially, he thought of it as PTSD, Post Traumatic Stress Disorder from war, but after some investigations, he got to know that in the past, he and her wife once adopted a robot child which was killed by a human robber and Gejisto was not able to handle this so he killed the human and then Europol erased his memories and, and later on the brother of that human found out about it and decided to assassinate Gejisto but failed and also he didn't hate him anymore as he saved his family from getting killed. From there Gejisto also learned a lesson that hatred only brings more hatred which has a significant role in the later part of the story. And in between the resurrection of his memories, as a detective he was also on a mission to find out about Pluto. And he even did. It was found out that Pluto was a creation of Professor Abula, where Abula tricked his robot son Sahad, who was very kind to everyone, to insert his brain in Pluto. And then Abula manipulated his brain by inserting insane amount of hatred, which Abula also possessed to kill all the seven advanced robots. And Pluto was almost successful in doing so, just Atom survived as he was resurrected by Dr. Tenma. And between the fight of Gejisto and Pluto, Sahad somewhat regained his memories and during his final battle with Atom, he fully regained his memories and he realized how big atrocities he has committed. He also allowed that Atom can kill him but Atom didn't kill him as he knew that hatred only brings more hatred. Instead he forgave him and as Abula had two personalities, 
one being abula himself and the other one being goji who created bora and at last goji activated bora through his chip which was full of hatred for the world which triggered bora to end the world and then bora went inside earth's crust with an anti proton bomb which in being triggered could end most of humanity and the robots would dominate the world and the remaining humans would be inferior to them to stop him atom came to end bora but he had to sacrifice himself and he was willing to do it but as pluto or sahad had regained his memories founding about the evil deeds he has done he decided to kill bora via also sacrificing himself an attempt to you can say condemn his atrocities then pluto defeated bora by sacrificing himself which of course saved the entire world and atom as well and all this chaos in pluto was carried out by one person or to be exact an ai which was this ugly looking bear Now you would definitely have questions that who exactly is this Teddy? So in the anime there is no information regarding this, but the manga has, where it is revealed that it is Doctor Teddy Roosevelt, an advanced supercomputer that takes the form of this ugly as looking pathetic yet immovable brown teddy bear. Staying true to the source material, Doctor Roosevelt served as the advisor of the president of Thracia, and just like in the show, is the mastermind behind the events in the story. His manipulation of Thracia's president. led to the country accusing persia of having made robots for war when he really was threatened by the level of advancement in the robot field this is what led to the 39 asian war leaving persia poverty stricken which halted persia's robot advancement roosevelt also seized the opportunity of abula's confusion and the creation of bora to march forward with plans to subjugate the humans first with the removal of the world's seven most advanced robots along with anyone connected to the bora investigation project capable of detecting the truth then with the anti proton bomb set to wipe out most of the human population leaving robot kind in charge thanks to brow 1589 who escapes his confinement with the help of the newly revived atom who shares his feeling of human kindness and emotion with the broken down robot agreeing to help atom in return brow uses this spear in his chest to kill this brown shit Pluto anime is an universe of its own having multidimensional characters, villains, amazingly creative story filled with emotions, something you would always expect from Sir Naoki Urasawa and that's how we come to an end of our video. Hope you have understood everything and as of now I'll meet you in my next video and if you have watched Monster and are confused related to its ending then you can check out this video I've explained everything in detail. Thank you.